welcome back we hope the fundamental information provided in the previous video helped you in some ways to address the issues concerning PSA farm there are many concerns with people on boosting the larval production giving the right feed and selecting the right box size This video is made to address all these issues and increase the larval production without escalating the cost. So, we have again listed 4 important tips that will help you to substantially increase the quantity as well as quality of larvae at low cost. So please watch the video till the end. Number 1. Water the pupae after turning into an adult fly do not eat anything since they do not possess a mouth to eat, but in fact they can drink. So it is important to keep the water inside the net for them to drink. It is likely that the fly gets drowned in the water if a pool of water is placed. To avoid this problem, a cloth soaked in water should be placed that keeps them from drowning. Keeping them hydrated elongates their life and ultimately increases egg production. Number 2. Brown Sugar The use of brown sugar is an important attractant for the flies to initiate mating. Its odor not only initiates mating but also increases the rate of mating. This will be helpful to obtain the increased fertilized eggs, ultimately increasing the larval production. So, it is highly recommended to place these sugars inside the net. Number 3. Dewatering and Shredding Dewatering the food is important while feeding the larvae. High content of water in the food waste makes the bin dirty and produces foul air. It also decreases the larval growth. There are instances of high water content in the food causing the death of the larvae. So, it is essential to draw out water from the food waste before feeding. Removing the water content from the food waste can be done in many ways. One of the ways is passive dewatering, where the water from the food waste is allowed to flow down into the drain freely. The other method includes squeezing and shredding. Shredding the food also helps the larvae in its quick growth, which would otherwise take time and effort to break down the food before consuming. Number 4. Size of Feeding Box The size of feeding box is also an important factor for larval growth. If the population of larvae in feeding box is denser, then we may not obtain the required growth of larvae at the given time period. Higher density of larvae in the feeding box may also result in larval death. So, a standard size of the box should be used for defined number of larvae. For reference, it is recommended to use 1 square foot of an area each to feed around 5000 larvae. The right box size ensures better growth in the larvae. Thank you for watching the video. Comments regarding black soldier fly farming are always welcome. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel.